you're in the mood for peanut butter chocolate pie, then this is the recipe for you. It's a peanut butter Twix pie. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm showing you to make how to make one of my favorite pies today. It's a chocolate cream pie married a peanut butter cream pie with a shortbread crust, kind of like a Twix bar. It's creamy and delicious and it's one of my favorite recipes. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. All right, we're starting off the filling of this pie with eight ounces of cream cheese. Now make sure that it is uh, room temperature softened. You don't want any lumps in your um, pie filling, so make sure that it is softened. I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit um, with my mixer, and then I'm going to add in one cup of peanut butter. I love that sticky measuring cup. It makes it so easy to measure out, no mess. Um, you can use creamy or chunky. I'm using a Skippy Naturals here, um, but use any no stir peanut butter. Mix that together and then you're going to add in a half of a cup of granulated sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you're just going to mix those together until your mixture is nice and smooth and creamy. One of the things I love about this pie is it is completely no bake. We don't need to bake that crust and it's that nice creamy filling. Um, it's, it's so easy, it's great all year long, but especially in those summer months when you don't feel like turning on your oven. Now, once it's, there's no lumps and once you're all completely, it's all completely mixed, we're going to add Cool Whip. I'm using an entire container of Cool Whip. You can use any kind of Cool Whip that you like or even generic, um, but you're gonna add that in to your pie filling. And then you're going to mix it. I love using the Cool Whip for this because you can just use the mixer to mix it together. You don't have to worry about it breaking. In the post, I'm gonna have notes about how to use fresh whipped cream if you prefer, but you do need Cool Whip also for the topping. Now, once you have all of that mixed, it's nice and smooth, we're gonna add it to a shortbread crust. I will link that down below, but it's just got shortbread cookies and crushed and melted butter, and it's super simple. Add that peanut butter filling to your pie crust, um, and then you're just gonna smooth it out. So good, This I can almost taste it just watching the video. Once you have that pie, nice and filled with the peanut butter filling, it's time to make our chocolate topping, which would be like the chocolate topping to a Twix bar. Um, but we're going to use some Cool Whip, about a half of a container of Cool Whip, and some melted chocolate. I have two ounces of semi-sweet chocolate here that's been melted and cooled. And then I'm going to add in about one cup um, of, of Cool Whip and you're going to just stir it together, um, fold it in, do it carefully. You wanna make sure that that chocolate is um, cooled before you do this, because otherwise it'll melt the Cool Whip. So just make sure that it's cooled but not hard, and you're just gonna stir it in again. When you're using Cool Whip, what's great about it is you don't have to worry about wrecking it. Uh, cool Whip's not gonna break, it's not gonna you know, fall apart, get all weepy, that's one thing I love about it. Anyway, you're just gonna mix that together until it's nice and combined, um, and then that's our chocolate topping for our pie. So go ahead and just um, add this to the top of the pie, smooth it out, and then it is time to chill it. Go ahead and chill it for at least a couple of hours until it can kind of, um, kind of come together, and you want like about four hours or so, and then once it is, comes together, it is time to slice it, and enjoy it. This is like a Twix bar in a pie. And once we slice it, you can see those two layers, the chocolate layer and the peanut butter layer, and that shortbread crust is just kind of a nice twist. Of course, you could use an Oreo or a graham cracker crust or even a peanut butter cookie crust, which I will link all of those down below. But I absolutely love the combination of shortbread, chocolate, and peanut butter, kind of like a Twix bar. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite no-bake pie recipe is and keep watching for even more pies.